Hey, you're looking for the best wireless mic so you can record good clean audio when you're on the go? Let's talk. There are a number of different manufacturers you can choose from. Today, we're gonna to talk briefly about the Rode Wireless Mic Go 2. And a newcomer to the space, Mayona, Mayono. I'm gonna just call them Mayono, I think that's how you say it. They were kind enough to send these to me so I could check them out. And we already use the Rode Wireless Go mic, so we thought it'd be a little bit of fun to just talk through some of the differences and help you out if you're trying to figure out how can I get clean audio. You could definitely take a boom mic and, and have the whole setup, but what's really neat about these is they both work the same way. So I'm gonna take a Rode here, and I'm just gonna take a look at this with y'all. You've got this clip on the back. They both work in exactly the same way, and so it's super easy. I can literally just clip this to my shirt, and that's it. I'm mic'd up, ready to go. And if I really wanted to make it a little bit invisible, I've actually used this on the inside and clipped it like that. Yes, you can see a little bit of something, but it really isn't very much. It's very, very discreet. And what's really nice is this little magical square has everything you need to record audio. So I've got my microphone in, so I don't have to have a separate mic, but I've also got an input jack for a lav mic. So if I don't want this to be visible, I can clip it onto my belt or my pocket and I can run a lav mic underneath my t-shirt and just have the smallest little lav showing while it's recording into this device. Other things you're gonna find are the USB-C and the power button on the bottom. And that's about it. Very simple, very straightforward. The Rode actually has memory built in to the wireless mic. The Mayono doesn't. So this is one of the big differences between the two. It has a similar setup, microphone if you need it, and then a microphone input if you want to use a lav mic. Same USB-C on the side, so very similar, but the big difference here is $79 for this set gets you no storage. $199 for the Rhodes gets you built-in storage. You might be asking yourself the question, but why do I want in built storage? Let me tell you why. I can take this, and I don't need to do anything else. I, I turn it on, and I have it set because I use the Rode app on my computer. I set it to instantly record the second it turns on. So I press the power button, it lights up on the corner, and that's it. I am good to go, and I am now recording. No drama, no faffing about, no nothing. If I want, I can use the receiver that it comes with, and I can actually connect this to my digital camera on the device. It's very similar, but now it has outputs on it, and on the screen it's showing you here, you can see as I'm talking, the volume meter is registering. So you know you've got audio input coming in, you can plug in some earbuds or headphones so you can hear it coming in as well, and you actually sit this on top of the camera and feed it into the camera input so that it goes straight into the camera and works as just a wireless receiver. But the beauty of it is, it also can record onto the storage in the receiver at the same time, so you're getting a backup recording. And again, you change these settings in the Rode app that you need to download for your Windows or your Mac computer. I think it is a great feature the Mayono does the same thing. It has the receiver. It will connect to the camera the same way and it will feed the audio in, but again, no storage on board. So there's no fail safe here. If it doesn't work, you don't know it because there's no visual. You're gonna find out when it's too late. With the Rode, yes, you're gonna pay nearly three times as much, 80 bucks to 200, but you're gonna get recording on the mic, recording on the receiver and visual measures to show you as the audio is being fed into the camera. Now I know you can plug in the wireless headset on both and you can check it that way, but even then, sometimes it's nice to glance over and just see that visual registering as those sound meters go up and down. So here's some sound testing, see what you think. So this is a quick sound check between the two mics so you can hear the differences in my voice. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. If I want to quote a good old block of standard text from Microsoft before we went to Latin in the 90s with Windows 95 and all that kind of fun stuff. And just in case we need a little bit more sound, here I am repeating myself. The quick brown fox did actually jump over the lazy dog. And so you can hear the difference between these two as I am talking and showing it to you. And let me show you what the actual desktop app looks like, just so you can see it for yourself. Here you can see, obviously, the audio files as they come in. You need the app to get the audio files off the Rode mics. Once you've got them off, you can do whatever you want with them. And in the settings here, I'll show you just a couple of options. Obviously, you can goof off and play with this all to your heart's content. But you see these options for instant recording, not instant recording, and that kind of thing. Definitely, if you're gonna buy these, make sure you go in the app and 
change the settings to the way you want, update the firmware, and a quick tip from Uncle Mikey, when you update the firmware on these, it will wipe everything that is on them completely gone. So do not, do not, I repeat not, do any firmware updates before you've got your audio saved. If you do, don't come crying to me. And really, that's about as difficult as it is in 2023 to get some really clean, great audio with minimal effort, minimal gear, no massive gear bags, all rechargeable by USB-C. You throw in a little pouch and away you go. And Bob's your uncle. Like this bad boy. Everywhere you go in. Don't fall over, Mr. Road Mike. I have you all nicely set up like a stack of dominoes there. So what do you do? So what do you do?